I think I have a new favorite for a one camera, one lens setup. How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring along with me to show you my new vlogging slash photography setup with one camera, one lens, and what I am going to be using going forward. So let's jump right into it. So I've been debating about what I've been wanting to have when it comes down to condensing my gear whenever I only want to bring one camera setup. See, for me, sometimes just wanting to bring one camera setup, whether I'm just using it to vlog and kind of capture the behind the scenes with some B-roll, but being able to capture photos as well is very important because sometimes I need to be fast and efficient. So my thing is I'm going to be using this camera setup to be able to do my vlogging, photo, and anything that I need to with just having one lens and one camera because sometimes I just don't wanna to bring too much gear. Now, I know I could just bring, let's say my little Fuji camera cause it's small, but I wouldn't use this for video just because it's not really the most efficient for that. So using the Sony a7 IV with a Tamron 20 to 40 f2.8, I think it's gonna be a nice little setup to be able to vlog, take b-rolls and photos. So we're gonna test it out and switch on over to this bad boy for the rest of the video so you can see it in action and let's see how it performs. Well, wait a second. I'm gonna show you the rundown of it and then you'll switch it off, but you get the drift. So here is the setup. Honestly, been using the Cinco wireless microphones more often just because they're really nice to use. So I know that I'm always gonna have really pretty good sound all around me since that has a little windscreen to be able to go outside and I'm not gonna have the microphone too far away if I need to walk away. So I got the Cinco microphone on there, the Sony a7 F4 with the 20 to 40 with a, you know, this is a thread size that's from 67 to an 82 so I can have my Cinebloom and then my variable ND and that'll be the setup right there. Now we have the Tamron 20 to 40 set up with the Sony a7 IV with the Cinco microphone and now we can start the fun part. Are you cold, Kels? Just a little bit? This setup is very condensed and nice because you're able to just have that one camera set up with a 20 to 40. And the cool thing about the Sony a7 IV, and especially because you have to make the best of the gear, is having that 4K 60 that's cropped in, I'm able to get more focal length with it. And also with having 33 megapixels, I'm also able to use the APS-C mode on this camera to just get a little bit more you know, focal length reach. Um, there's a bit ago where like the birds were flying by and I was able to kind of capture them with the 4K60 as they were flying by. So I was able to zoom in more from the 40, you know, add a little bit of that crop and it was golden. Not too bad. So speaking of using the APS-C mode, I'm going to do a little bit of B-roll shooting at 4K60 with a 20 to 40 and, you know, view it perspectively because you'll see that it's APS-C and cropped in. So that way you can see as well how it looks but it's kind of nice to have that setup because you're able to simply just take photos and videos with full frame, but also APS-C mode. So get a little bit of extra reach and not have to worry about if you have need of more focal length, you got yourself a little bit more covered there. Now I'm gonna do the 120 frames per second, the Ison Kimo with the 10 bit. It's gonna be full frame, so now we're gonna have some full frame action. But that way you can see how it looks with a 1080p and see if it's nice or sharp or maybe not so great, but you'll be the judge of that. Mm -hmm. 
So we got the B-roll, we got the photos, we got the goodies. Using one camera setup, one lens, and well, I guess a microphone and a switch bot. Pretty great little setup just for photos and videos and you know vlogging and everyday thing. And I think this is gonna be a cool little setup if you're looking for something to condense down where you only have to bring one camera, one lens, be good to go to cover your photo, video, and anything that you need. But that's pretty much something that I was kind of looking for because sometimes I don't want to have to bring a whole backpack or everything like how I normally would, especially whenever I'm out and about and I just want to make a quick video and I want to make sure I have a lens that can do a little bit more than the 28 millimeter. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to upgrade from the 17 to 28 because the 20 to 40 focal range was really good. I think it's it gives you a little bit more while taking away a little bit of the wideness that I didn't really fully need, but I would want to gain that, you know, 28 to 40 range because you're able to do more photos, more videos with just one lens, and I can cover all my bases and it really pairs really well with my 35 to 150 if I ever want to bring both lens setups, bringing it close for dramatic effect. But yeah, this is uh, something that I think is really cool to test out and I just wanted to see how well it worked. And I honestly am pretty impressed for myself to be able to just bring one camera setup in case I want to travel and I don't want to bring the 35 to 150. I can feel confident to just bring this and just use my phone for a B cam for any situations that I might need. But other than that, this is pretty great setup. So nine out of 10 would recommend because always got to leave room for improvement they could have done a 16 to 40 or 50 or maybe a 20 to 70 how you know sony did but not an f4 so yeah and that that's it for this setup you know i think it's a, a great setup so if you're looking to test out the 20 to 40 for a tamron i say go ahead and it might be just the right setup for you especially with uh, the a7 IV having that cropped in kind of becomes now beneficial i wasn't the most biggest fan of the 4k 60 crop in could I manage with it? Yes, but was it something that I would have preferred having the option to use or not? Would have been nicer, but you just gotta do and you gotta use with what you got and make the best of it. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.